Mastering Parallelism in Comparisons Hello everyone! Welcome to today's lesson where we will focus on an important aspect of English grammar, parallelism, specifically in comparisons. Understanding and correcting errors in parallelism will help you construct sentences that are clear, concise, and elegant. Parallelism in English grammar refers to using elements in sentences that are grammatically similar or identical in structure, sound, meaning, or meter. This similarity makes sentences easier to process while lending them a rhythmic, balanced feel. For example, in the sentence, I like running, biking, and swimming, the verbs running, biking, and swimming all share the same ing form, creating parallelism. Now, when we talk about comparisons, maintaining parallelism is crucial. Parallelism in comparisons ensures that the items or ideas being compared are presented in the same grammatical form, which helps to clear any ambiguity. Here is an example of parallelism in a comparison. John's performance was more impressive than anyone else in the team. In this sentence, John's performance is compared with the performance of anyone else in the team, not anyone else. The items compared are parallel and thus, the comparison makes sense. Errors in parallelism often occur when the items or ideas being compared are not in the same grammatical form. This can lead to confusion. For instance, consider this sentence. John runs faster than any dog. Here, the sentence might sound grammatically correct, but the comparison is between John runs and any dog, which are not parallel. A corrected version could be John runs faster than any dog runs or John runs faster than any dog can. In these revised sentences, the comparisons are between John runs and any dog runs or any dog can, both of which are now parallel. When you identify an error in parallelism in comparisons, you correct it by making sure that the items being compared are in the same grammatical form. Let's practice with another example. In the relay race, Emma ran faster than any team member. In this sentence, Emma ran is being compared with any team member, which is not parallel. A corrected version would be, in the relay race, Emma ran faster than any other team member did. Here, the comparison is between Emma ran and any other team member did, which are parallel. Remember, Maintaining parallelism in comparisons is about ensuring that the items being compared are in the same grammatical form. It not only clarifies your meaning but also makes your English sound more native and refined. Practice identifying and correcting these errors to improve your sentence construction and overall communication in English. I hope this video was helpful. Happy learning, and see you in our next lesson.